During his latest visit to Rome, the Archbishop of Toronto, Thomas Collins, formally took possession of the church the Pope entrusted him with back when he became a cardinal. The St. Patrick Church is 101 years old. It's actually run by the Irish Augustinian Order, which has an interesting connection to the cardinal, since his ancestors were from northern Dublin. But they immigrated to Canada more than 180 years ago. The ceremony began at the entrance of the church where the pastor welcomed the cardinal by giving him a crucifix. A total of four bishops and 20 priests also took part in the ceremony. The archbishop is one of 22 bishops who were made cardinals last February by Benedict XVI. Collins is 65 years old and he was ordained a priest at the age of 26. He understands that the new evangelization can oftentimes feel overwhelming, but he says saints are always a source of inspiration. I think a great model for this is one of my favorites, St. Saint, Saint Thomas More, who was a lawyer, a politician, a judge, a family man, husband, father. But every day he, he celebrated Mass. He went to the Mass in his local parish church. He got to confession regularly. He spent time in prayer. That's the center of it all. St. Kateri Tekawita, who was canonized recently by Benedict XVI, lived in Canada. So this ceremony brought together both Canadian and Irish faithful. The ceremony was also attended by a group of Native American Indians who were also present at the canonization. But perhaps one of the most moving moments was when the papal bull was read out loud, symbolically naming Collins as a member of Rome's clergy. This gave way to Collins' symbolic possession of the parish. Formerly, cardinals were only chosen among the clergy of Rome, but now each cardinal, regardless of what country he's from, is entrusted with the church in Rome. It's a symbolic gesture that represents unity with the Bishop of Rome.